If you're unfamiliar with how I feel about LeBron James, I'm not a fan. I believe that that whole spray painted his in gate house with no evidence situation, like they spray painted, they spray painted the N word on um, the gates of his mansion, and there's no evidence <laughs> at all of it, and they've been rather quiet about it. I'm not a fan of LeBron James, but right is right, wrong is wrong. I gotta stand with the man on this one. This is coming to us from Yahoo Sports. LeBron James slams NCAA policy dubbed Rich Paul rule requiring agents to have degrees. This is written by Jason Owens, and this is how it works, guys. I don't know if y'all... Oh my goodness. I don't know if y'all have ever noticed the way life works, but if you are able to do something, if you're able to achieve or get somewhere what happens is is that those who control those spaces they'll see what you did and then they'll find figure out a way to cut your knees right up from underneath you and so that's exactly what happened with the NAACP not NAACP NCAA <laughs> I cannot be the only person that get, that confuses that sometimes anyways let's get into this article that's uh that's uh Rich Paul right there uh, standing next to LeBron who has, in a lot of ways, guided his career. If you ever saw the show uh, Survivor's Remorse, I believe the uh, the main character was supposed to be based off of Rich Paul. Like, the main character-ish, his cousin, slash agent, slash let's go get these young boys type, uh, type mover and maker, you know? A new NCAA policy requiring agents advising prospe prospective in the NBA players to have college degrees has some wondering if Rich Paul is the target. Of course he is. Count LeBron James amongst them. The Los Angeles Lakers star and friend, client, and business partner of Paul slammed the rule on Twitter on Tuesday dubbing it the Rich Paul rule while labeling the NCAA as big, mad, and scared. NCAA rule, my goodness, NCAA requires agents to have bachelor's degrees. NCAA basketball players are currently allowed to declare for the draft and hire an agent as a consultant and still maintain their college eligibility if they decide against turning pro. On Tuesday, CBS Sports' John Rothstein reported that the NCAA placed eligibility restrictions on who qualifies to represent those prospective NBA players. One of those rules disqualifies Paul. Which smooth, smooth. <laughs> they <laughs> they trying to knock that man clear out when honestly he like yeah he, his his main number one client is LeBron James and that's really like it was his secret key into getting his foot in the door. But as he sat here and tried to build brands and you know like expand the sphere of influence. Like, yo, they going to pay attention. They going to say, oh, OK, well, how do we knock them out? How do we, how do we take care of that? Boom. I mean, this is just a game being played. Is this the game you want to play? They going to find a reason. They'll look for a way. It, take, it, it took them a minute, but they, boom, they got them. Paul doesn't have a bachelor's degree. He famously built his career after he met LeBron James at an Ohio airport, airport while selling throwback jerseys out of his car. James brought some of his jerseys, and the two built a friendship and professional relationship. Now, Paul represents James, Anthony Davis, Draymond Green, and Ben Simmons, among several other high-profile NBA clients. Another power play from James. James has regularly wielded his power and influence in the NBA since taking the league by storm as a rookie in 2003. And, what, and that's the point. That's the point. Once you do it, yeah, you slam doors behind you, my man. Because they're like, oh, okay, this is how they want to play it. This is how they want to get, they, they want to buck, bet. We'll figure out a way around you. He helped catalyze the shift of power of player movement from front ownership and management when he, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh conspired to create a super team with the Miami Heat in 2010. He's wrestled control of his narrative through the influence of his own media outlets, like his HBO show, The Shop, an effort that's been a collaborative push alongside Paul. And now James is challenging the very NCAA he shunned out of high school when he jumped straight into the NBA, laughing at the perceived efforts of the organization to slow down his and Paul's movement. James helped facilitate the rise of Rich Paul, from a guy without a degree sharing a one bedroom with his siblings to become one of the most powerful men in sports. He's not scared of the NCAA. 
hashtag stay, and that's where you lose me, LeBron. Okay, stop with the stay stay woke thing because if he was white, they'd have done it too. Like it, that's the thing; it's not a racial thing. It's about the money, and you and and people, and it's not. And guess what? If you are if if they if you have a, a complete organization that's been around since you were born, such as the, since before you were born, such as the NCAA or any of these other quote unquote institutions, NCAA doesn't even do anything. They just happen to be at the right place at the right time themselves. They see that and they're like, oh well, you know, we gotta put us, we gotta put the kibosh to this. But don't make it a racial thing, because it, it doesn't have to be a racial thing. Yeah, that's the thing. The thing can just be the thing. It doesn't have to have a racial tint to it. You're deciding to make it a racial thing, and that's where it gets disgusting to me. Did N did NCAA target Paul? Per the new NCAA rule, Paul is not eligible to advise NCAA players who wish to maintain their college eligibility. Did the NCAA specifically have Paul in mind when they set this new criteria? Who knows? I do. Yeah, they did. It's unclear why the NCAA would specifically target Paul. His clientele tend to have higher profiles than borderline NBA prospects. The athletic Sam Vicini, whatever, obtained a copy of the NCAA memo detailing the new requirements, confirming their original report. Here's some of the memo that went to agents yesterday regarding the new rules. NCAA ref the NCAA refers to it as protecting the eligibility of their client athletes. <laughs> oh, I'm just thinking South Park right now. I am just thinking South Park in the um, when Cartman walked in with the KFC. Oh, how we get to be do I play? I'm sorry, I athletes. <laughs> Oh my goodness, did that clearly exclude Paul, whether he was intended to target or not? What is clear is that the NCAA is flexing more power over student athletes, which the organization refers to in a memo under these circumstances as athlete clients in the context of their relationship with prospective agents. Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. So LeBron, don't say the whole stay woke thing, man. You got to stay woke. Cause they they coming after a black man no they coming after somebody who did something that they did oh so long ago because ultimately neither one of your asses is necessary as far as uh producing anything that will that will push our uh what's the name for oh we inspire people okay yeah sure yeah we've heard that jump for forever and a day celebrity really is meaningless anyways guys as much as I, like I said in the beginning, dislike agreeing with LeBron James, uh, yeah, this is very clearly like they see they see a uh, they see a glitch a glitch in their matrix and they're trying to correct it because ultimately uh, the NCAA doesn't run schools, they don't do anything besides take a cut, which is hilarious and and actually monitor the cut and have the and, and supposedly have these players interest in mind when we all know that ain't the case it's always about the money it'll always be about the money so while we ain't while we all playing these childish games here i don't know what to tell you that being said we're going to bring this one to an end all the internet stuff if you like to toss a like dislike go ahead do that too not scared of your sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice you want to give videos like this every single day share because sharing is caring and this is actually pretty funny i'm gonna say because <laughs> When you come through and you are allowed to break the rules, it, well, you get the chance to bend the rules and make the rules work in your favor. You have to expect that snapback from those who guard the rules, at least in my opinion. But if you think something different, I would love to hear it. And until the next video.